trying to put your cars to sleep. Alright. What's going on guys? Back with another one. Just left Home Depot. Had to get a hole saw and a few more little things. But um got the hole saw for that fender. We're cutting a hole in that fender today. I'm gonna get the exhaust finished hopefully. I'm so pumped up for this. It's gonna be probably one of my favorite things on the whole car. Uh, it's gonna be cool how you can switch it out, whether you want a, a flush cut one or the bullhorn. I try to get as much footage as that as I can. I don't know how well I'll do, but that's why I'm making this video now. It is cold today. It's it's so cold. I'm already missing the warm weather in Maryland. But let's waste no time. Let's get to the garage. So we're going to cut this off about right here. Well, the V-band onto it. That way we put a straight section in the bullhorn. Alright, so we got the second V-band welded to the bullhorn right here. Just waiting for it to cool down a little bit. We're going to throw it on the car. Everything's going pretty good right now. So I'm actually, I was actually going to have a flush cut for the second one. You got the bullhorn and the flush cut. But I think we're going to do something like this. like the teardrop style one. I think that'll look a little better than the, the flush one, but I can always get another V-band and that way I have three that I can interchange. Uh, that'll be nice, but making good progress. Kyle's a pretty good welder, man. Gotta give it to him. Nice unit too. Kind of messed up too because the actual v-band flange is like four and three quarters and i got a four and a half hole saw so it's not going to be as easy to slip in the fender but luckily i got these cut out so i can slip it through from the inside which is no problem but eventually i'll probably get a uh, a bigger hole saw just so i can slide it in and out a lot easier all right so we got the bullhorn all set in pretty pleased with it uh, right now we're working on making some kind of bracket to put on the frame rail for the vibrations and to keep it solid use some kind of rubber bushing just to keep it from shaking around when I'm on the two-step and stuff but So what we did here, we put two riv nuts in the frame rail and made a bracket off of that. And then Kyle also welded a bracket to the downpipe right before the V-band at the tip. And we didn't really have any bushings or anything. The only thing we had laying around was some 3 8 vacuum line. So we just used that, put that on the bolt, and that should be good enough. We uh, moved it by hand and there was a good bit of flex. So hopefully that'll help with me not having the solid motor mounts. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Pretty long day. It took longer than expected, but 
it's what happens when you want things just right. You know, sometimes you run into problems. Sometimes you go the extra mile to make sure it's right. Yeah. Huge, huge shout out to Kyle for spending his Saturday helping me out with this. I really appreciate everything he's done for me, really. I mean, I can't thank him enough. I can't give him enough money, you know? But, so this is probably gonna be one of the last videos here. Uh, today's Saturday, so exactly a week from now, we're gonna be picking it up on the trailer and taking it to my dad's shop, and that's where it's gonna be finished up. I know I said I was gonna talk about this car right here. We'll get to that on the next video. That'll be the introduction. I'll be talking about that. Uh, I know some people don't really know what it is. Some people wanted to know what it was. So I'll just give a quick rundown of what I do now. But um, let me shut up and show you guys the finished product. 